Hello everyone and welcome to another episode on the Dameron Family Homestead. So glad you stopped by to join us. On today's episode, we are going to be automating that front porch light. When you move out in the country, you get all this wonderful land, empty space, neighbors are far away. But because the neighbors are so far away, we have a drawback. So we don't have all the ambient light coming off of the neighbor's properties. Uh, in most cases, when you live out in the country, you don't have lights on the street to illuminate even coming up to your house. And even if you do, most likely your house is set so far back from the road that it's not putting much illumination on your home. So one of the issues that we run into out here, especially in the winter time, because it's been dark so much uh, longer throughout the day, is we leave during the daylight we don't think about what time we're gonna be home. And by the time we get back, it's dark. The lights are off because we forgot to turn on the porch light. And it's just kind of not a comforting feeling to come home to complete darkness. I mean, we do have a light on our garage, but the house is sitting in complete darkness and you have to walk into your home like that. So today we're gonna to talk about automating, automatically automating, automatically automating. Pretty sure that's a duplicate statement. Automating that front porch light to automatically come on at sunset and turn off at sunrise. So another issue that we have too is if I don't get up, uh, well, when I get up in the morning, I usually go straight to work. My kids don't usually get right around to turning the light off and by right around to it, I mean it's like 10 o'clock and no one's done it. So by the time I come out of my office for my first 10 o'clock break, I walk past the light and I have to flip it off every morning. For me, that's a few more hours of running that power that didn't have to do that. So this is gonna solve that problem, the light not being turned off on time, and it's gonna solve the problem of it not being on when I get home when I need it. So for today's video, if you're gonna follow along, I'm going to be using a Treat Life smart paddle switch, which is $19.99 on Amazon, and an Amazon Echo, which a lot of you guys probably already own. If you don't, they're pretty fairly cheap to get. It's up to you if you want to actually do this. Now for this video, I'm going to focus mainly on the automation piece. I'm not an electrician, so I'm not going to talk about all the electrical wiring that goes into this. I uh, just don't want to get anybody into any trouble with me not thinking about things all the way through and maybe get you uh, shocked or something. However, the Treat Life Smart Pedal Switch does have a pretty nice manual that comes with it. It tells you exactly how to do the wiring. It's only three wires, so you should be able to follow along. I will say, do not bother with even attempting this project unless you have a neutral wire in your home. You have to have neutral wires behind those switches or this will not work. All right, so since we're not gonna show the electrical work, we're going to just do some camera magic to switch the light out. Three, two, one. Like that, it's replaced with the paddle switch. So we put a nice new decorative plate over top of the switch uh, just to blend it in there you know you if you can't find a wall plate that works exactly for your situation maybe you've got a three switch panel that you're replacing one of these paddles for uh, i did find some customizable wall plates out at the store i believe it was home depot they had a section where you could just grab plate by plate by plate and they attach together to create customized plates so that's also an option if you have a little bit of a different configuration or setup on your wall. Sometimes it can be difficult to find the exact plate that you need. All right, so now we're gonna set up the smart device. First thing you wanna do is download the Smart Life app if you have not done so already, and then give it access to your local network. From here, we're gonna add a smart device, a Wi-Fi switch, and enter our router username and password. This has to be a 2.4 gigahertz router. If it's a five, it will not work. If you've got a dual band, that's fine. Just make sure you connect to the 2.4 side. We're gonna hold down the paddle switch till it starts to blink to set it up to be found. We're gonna check the box at the bottom. It says we have uh, seen the blinking light and hit next. It'll take a few seconds, found our device. The next thing we're gonna do is rename this. I'm gonna call it front porch light. It'll just make it a lot easier in the future for me to find it when you've got a lot of switches on the network if you decide this is your thing and you want to automate some more stuff around your home. That is it for this app. We're going to go ahead and leave it, and we're going to go to our Amazon Alexa app. Sorry if I just made your device go off. And we're going to add a device here as well. So we'll go to devices at the bottom, hit the plus button top right, and scroll down to smart switch or in this case, just switch. 
And even though the Treat Life icon is here under brand, go ahead and ignore that. Scroll all the way down to other. We're just going to skip right past the brand name here. And start to search. We're going to reset that paddle switch one more time, holding down the button until it starts to blink. There we go. And it has found our Tekken switch. All right. So from here, I'm not going to add it to a group. I'm going to skip that part for now. I don't think I'm going to come back and do it. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is add a routine. So down at the bottom, uh, we've selected the farthest right option, and we're creating a routine here. My routine name will be Turn On Porch Light At Night. If I could spell it, N-I-G-H-T. And what uh, when it will happen is on a schedule, and that will be at sunset every day of the week. And then what will happen, scroll down to um, Smart Home right here. And do not click lights, click all devices at the top. And we're going to scroll down until we find front porch light, and it's going to turn on, hit next, save your routine. Now we have it automatically set up to come on when the sun goes down, based on your time zone and your schedule. We're going to create another routine. We're going to call this turn off porch light. In the morning. All right. When this happens, we'll be on a schedule, and this will be at sunrise. Then every day, add the action. Again, go down to Smart Home. Select all devices. And scroll down until you see the switch you recently named, Front Porch Light. Turn the switch to off. Hit Next. Hit Save. And you are all set up and automated. And that is it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Press subscribe so you don't miss a thing when we're posting new videos. Um, we're going to have more Farm Fresh content coming up as we uh, go along in the year. It, we've been offline for a little bit. It's been really cold. We're not doing a whole lot around the homestead. But as the temperatures start to warm up, it is spring. Things should get more exciting around here. So hope to uh, have you join us on our journey as we continue to record footage for you and have more things that are around homesteading and um, country life in general. But again, thanks for joining us. Have a great day.